Hi guys, Judy here. I hope everyone's doing great. I, I hope you're being, you're finding yourself blessed today. It is um, August. Um, we are done with my son's birthday celebration. And I'm home now. It is uh, the 9th. Um, my good friend Jerry from who I met on YouTube. I've, I've been able to meet certain people. It's been wonderful face-to-face. -face. There's nothing like being with a fellow rapture-centric face-to-face, I'll tell you. If you can try to do it, do it. Um, there's just a comfort in that fellowship. And I'm looking forward to Jesus Girl coming. You should check out her channel. She makes wonderful videos. I've known her for four years now. She was 28 years old when God fell on my son, and she commented on my videos, and and now she's 32, and we, we're, we've been waiting for the rapture together. She's coming. She's flying in tomorrow. I'm going to be here until the 13th. And um, it's wonderful to, you know, to encourage one another as we see the day approaching. And that encouragement um, comes in many ways. That's what my dog did, did to the, my blinds. See that? <laughs> he did that. I'm getting those replaced Friday. Um, anyway, I, I wanted to touch base with everybody. I've just, it's been summer and I've been out and, um, you know, my priority, I've, I've told you guys it's, it's God first and then family and then, and then, um, ministry to the world and family is very important and, um, I make it a high priority cause I've had it. I've, I've, I've seen many ministries ruined because. Uh, people had their priorities mixed up, you know, and um, so my son turned 14 and we spoiled him rotten, took him to Pismo Beach and and did some wonderful things. We we surfed and went on the sand dunes and went sea kayaking and celebrated his precious life. And if you have been given children, they're precious. Treasure them, love them, and I. I love motherhood because I feel God's heart and I go where I feel his heart beating, you know, and his heart beats in the home. And, um, and then when you're in a good place with family and, and, and loving them right and treating people right, then God will share you with the world. And so, um, it's an honor to make these videos. It's an honor to encourage you until we see the day that he comes it's an honor to be encouraged by you. So thank you for people who keep making videos and anointed ones, light of the Lord. Nice, wonderful stuff. Jen, I just watched your video. Thank you, Jen. So good. Her video was entitled Repentance is Key. Very good. Very good video. Watch it. I just liked it to the channel. Um, so I'm touching base with everyone because, you know, this is the rapture centric life. And I, I have another visitor coming in and then after that I'll gear up to go to work again and my son starts his his uh rigorous homeschool schedule and and um online stuff and he's got three nights a week he, he does things outside the home and anyway if we're here my my calendar is filled. Um but make no mistake, I have to make plans. There was a day when he told me not to, and so I didn't. And then, you know, you just have to be obedient in this walk. And then there's a time where, you know, I just, I'm following what he's telling me to do with regard to my son and being a mom and my responsibilities here. And, um, but boy, does he interrupt me. Well, okay, it's like this. God gives you tasks. And then he interrupts you. Kind of like it reminds me in the New Testament when God told Paul, I want you to go here. I think, I don't know, it was one of his Macedonian trips. Go here. And then he said, okay, he's on his way. And he said, okay, turn around now. It's like, then why'd you tell me to go there? <laughs> right? But he did. He turned around. You know, and that's the thing where it's, it's so tempting to question God. You told me to go there, so I'm going. You have to be open to him interrupting you. Yeah, I did. And you obeyed. Good job. And now I'm telling you to turn around and come back. Okay. <laughs> and Paul did. Okay. And um, 
this whole walk in fellowship with our God, our Father, our friend, our Creator, our Daddy is about obedience and and in and, and relationship, it's it's day by day. You just can't say, well, 10 years ago, he told me to do this. You know, it's like, okay, if you have a friend and you're in a relationship, do you keep current or do you talk about stuff from 10 years ago? How boring. That doesn't happen. So let's just be real here. In a relationship with God, you take up your cross daily and you ask him and you're led by him. And when he tells me to do things differently from what he's instructed me, I, it throws me sometimes. I'm like, but wait, you told me to, yeah, well, do this now. Okay. It's scriptural. Just read the Old and New Testament. God can interrupt you anytime. He'll have you on a road. What did he tell? He told him um, to sacrifice. I'm so tired. Okay. He told him, um, you know, sacrifice your son. What's his name? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, you know, he puts him on the altar to sacrifice his son about to just plunge the knife into him. And then he's like, okay, yeah, no, stop. You can stop now. Okay. So I'm giving you examples from the Bible. Okay. So many people say, you don't quote scripture, Judy. You don't quote scripture. <laughs> it makes me laugh so bad. Like everything I say is scripturally based. You know, if you're following and speaking the words that God is putting on your heart to give people, um, you're speaking scripture too. People just have to go dig it up and find it themselves. Anyway, um, so, you know, yeah, Abraham sacrificing Isaac. Now I remember Abraham and Isaac. <laughs> so I've been in real vacation mode. I'm sorry. I have been just in the ocean and, and it's, it's been nice. It's been very good for my soul to have blessed fellowship and, 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 and break away from routine. It's been wonderful. Anyway, so, you know, plunge the knife. He's about ready to, yep, oh, angel says, nope, you can stop now. I mean, he was ready to sacrifice his son. He was doing what God told him to do. And then God interrupted and said, okay, and you can just make up all the reasons you want. God may never give you a reason. Obviously, a big one that people say is he's just checking your obedience. Would you do it? And once he knows, okay, you will do it then he'll say, okay, you don't have to. But that's not always the case. That's why I say be in a day-by-day -day relationship because what God tells you today may not be for tomorrow. And that's the thing. That's why I tell people it's every day. I've been walking with him for a really long time. And that's one of the things I've learned. I used to get stuck in ruts because I would think like, well, God wouldn't do that. He told me this. Well, that was then. What about today? What is he telling you today? The only thing that has stayed very consistent is the rapture is now. For the last four years, you know, he fell on my son, wrecked my world, changed everything. And, um, and the rapture is now. That's one thing I do know. And on this whole, you know, I've been doing a lot this summer with, with my son and, 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 um, you know, they grow quick. So treasure the time you do have with them. You know, if we're here, he'll be 15 next year and I'm treasuring the time I get to have an influence, you know, um, but, you know, you just have to know what, you know, it's a daily thing. And I think that's why, you know, people get stuck. It's why I've gotten stuck in the past because you haven't sought him for what's, what's on the menu today, Lord, what are we doing today? You know? And so that's, what's kind of thrown me in the rapture centric walk because he had me do nothing for two years and then he started telling me to do things and I, it didn't make sense. And then I stressed me out cause I was like, wait, does that mean you're not coming? And I, I was, I was just inferring all these things and God was just like, you know what? Just do what I'm saying. Okay. Just do what I'm saying. Just, just it's day by day. It's minute by minute. And believe me, these last, this last month or so he has given me so many signs personal I could have made so many videos but you know I've just been busy and it, it is not necessary other people are making videos too you know and so they're good you don't have to hear from the same people all the time right but I could have made so many videos on the flirts that he has given me and the messages and how he's showing me it's now and I I'm telling you he's coming Okay, he's coming. 
And some of the times I think that he has my schedule busy just so I won't go crazy waiting for him. You know, it's, it's a blessing. Um, it's, it's, it's very hard to wait for him. You want to be out of here so bad. And, um, but it's, it's a growth. It's all about growth. It's about daily uh, having a relationship with him, talking to him daily. Who do you want me to, you know, what, what are we doing today? Lord, who are we going to bless? What are we going to do? And, um, and sometimes it's just all about you and him, you know, be selfish. I am, I have learned that over the years, you know, the best thing that you can give others is the gift of intimacy and being selfish with yourself and your time and with God. Because then, you know, when you've had that selfish time with God and yourself and, and you've, you've put God a priority and, and loved yourself the way he loves you and made yourself a priority because you love him and, and you just soak in his love and, and make all your purpose and worth just be in him and not what you're doing. Um, then you can really bless people when he tells you to, you know, go do it because you've been nurtured. You've, you've been nurtured by the king of the universe, ah, the king of the universe. He, he waters the garden. He nurtures your soul. He, he, he infuses you, you know, with uh, Jen has me on these essential oils, Jen B. She sent me a bunch and, you know, I mean, that's what God is. He's an essential oil, you know. You just you just dab them on, you dab those oils on your skin, and it's like it's a it's a whole new you. It's a new smell. It's a new um, health benefit. It's a new this. Um, I had some weird lump come on my foot, and I did some. Uh, you, I went on um, I did research on the internet, you know, and it said to put frankincense essential oil on that lump, and not wow, it's the lump's almost gone. And, um, and that's what Jesus is. He's our essential oil. You know, he's, you just, you just, oh, he's good. He loves us. And, and it's essential to spend time with him. And, and I don't have time to just sit on my bed like I did for two years. I get my messages and my time with him is on the run. You know, it's, it's in everything I do. And that's why I really encourage you to learn to abide in him. And how do you do that? Just like you abide in any other friendship in your life. You just keep fellowshipping with the person all day. You know, you can make your own text messages on your phone to Jesus. You could. You could You could make up a fake number and, and text Jesus. Okay? <laughs> you, you, can, you can have him on social media. You can talk to him in your head all day. Do whatever makes you happy. But I'm telling you, he's real. He's creative. He's out of the box. He's fun. And, um... Uh, if I were to tell you some of the ways he speaks to me, you know, and I will, uh, okay, I'm going to tell you, cause I really don't care. Um, if someone thinks I'm crazy, I care what you think because I love you, but I don't care enough to not share this, but I, I will. Um, I had to do something that was kind of a big deal. And when I did it, my dog looked at me and I literally heard <laughs> my dog became Jesus. And he said, it's, he's gonna, it's going to be okay. It's going to be just fine. Let's go now. And I was like, wait, God, okay, God. And I've heard people that this has happened, that they God has used their animals to speak to them. Now animals speak to me through just the way they are, but never have I heard like an audible voice so clear as I did. And this was about three weeks ago. And I just laughed. I giggled. Peace flooded my soul. My dog was in the car. He looked at me and that's what I heard clearly through his little spirit. And I knew it was the Lord speaking through my dog. We make a, a, a joke that Marianne's dog is God in the fur, my friend from South Carolina, because he's such an anointed dog. But you know, God comforted me when I, <laughs> through my dog, I literally heard him say something, which that has never happened in my entire life. I've heard of that happening to people. And I've always thought that was really cool, but, and I believed it, but it did happen to me. God's fun. I really encourage you to just get all up in there with him. And um, where he's coming. So that's why I'm making this video. The rapture is upon us. Be ready every single day. You know what it is. It's today. Wake up here tomorrow. Say it's today. Gotta go. Love you.